Oh, hi, I'm the heretic. So bad news, guys. The Parliament of the European Union, excuse me, the Tower of Babel, have passed the EU Copyright Directive, most famous for Article 13, which, if you recall, it and Article 11 give businesses the power to demand fees be paid by internet platforms, for example Reddit, if users post a hyperlink to a news story on their platform. Article 13, by contrast, will require platforms filter any form of copyrighted content on their websites or face huge fines, effectively making any and all uses of copyrighted material, whether a music remix, movie review, or some form of parody, completely illegal. This set of laws is commonly referred to as Article 13, named after its most controversial provision. Hard to imagine why that is. But anyways, what happened is that originally, the Tower of Babel Parliament had voted against the law in July 2018, but in typical EU fashion, when they want to take away your freedom, they won't take no for an answer, and brought up the law for debate again this September 2018 where it had passed 438 to 226, with 39 abstentions. 438 nameless, faceless bureaucrats who don't even exist with the pretense of democracy decided that it's appropriate for small startup websites to pay millions of dollars to have content filters installed onto their websites by big corporations that have no capacity of determining copyright infringement from legitimate fair use. I'm telling you, it's not a good day for the internet. As I explained in my previous video, this will have a chilling effect on content, where companies that can't afford it simply don't have their platforms in the EU. For example, you won't be able to watch this video, except on BitChute. Subscribe to me on BitChute right now! However, all is not lost, and memes are still legal in the EU. In fact, the EU Copyright Directive isn't even law yet. Several amendments have been proposed and need to be negotiated between EU and member states, so basically negotiated between EU and der Führer Merkel. And there will be another vote on January 2019. But let's be honest, we all know which way the EU will vote. Now Facebook is coming at this hot on the heels of the EU, preparing to make sure your Facebook posts are in compliance with the dictates of totalitarian chum guzzlers. Mark Zuckerberg is going to be using AI with content recognition to sift through the millions of pictures people share every day. The goal is to potentially identify false content and prevent an easy opportunity for manipulation by bad actors. Once so identified, the photo is given to one of Facebook's 27 national and international fact-checkers, who consist of such bastions of honesty, including Snopes, The Weekly Standard, PolitiFact, and FactChecker.org. Since we're not smart enough to figure this stuff out for ourselves, we need freaking Facebook to do it for us. No. Sorry, Mark Cuckerberg, but who died and put you in charge of fighting misinformation? As if things couldn't get any worse... This follows efforts by Australian priests of statism to get tech companies to insert security backdoors into their technology, which would certainly compromise the security of those users and create a back channel by which the United States government, to use one example of a foreign government, to look up the user data of an American citizen through Australian internet. Even if you don't believe this would happen, governments get hacked all the time. And those security backdoors, which are required to be there by law, will be leaked. All justified in the ongoing fight against terrorism. Yeah, I'm sure there's a terrorist somewhere among the vast majority of users whose data the Australian priesthood of statism just made vulnerable to hackers and identity thieves. But again, this is Australia, who, according to its prime minister, the laws of mathematics are superseded by the government's opinions that are backed by guns. I wish I was making this up. Suffice to say, it's wishful thinking to sit there and hope that the government will stop trying to censor, restrict, and invade the internet. Maybe we should try voting harder. I'm sure it'll work this time. 
Sarcasm aside, do we honestly expect the EU to not pass Article 14? Of course they will. Australia will create a backdoor into the internet, and Facebook will happily censor you if you commit a thought crime on Twitter. I don't know if they actually plan on doing this or are already doing it, but it's something that they would totally do, isn't it? Perhaps even more insidious is what the priesthood of statism could be setting up. I see a shell game being played by the EU by giving big corporate producers the power to ban memes and restrict free speech. This is clearly intended to trick you into thinking the state is the only mechanism that can protect free speech. That way, when they swoop in to protect free speech, which will require significant violations of property rights and effectively nationalize the internet, they'll be applauded for solving the problem that they themselves created. This isn't the time for simply waiting for the government to give you permission to vote one or two politicians out of office. We need bold new initiatives. Someone needs to say it. The old internet is not just fine. A new internet infrastructure that is completely encrypted through peer-to-peer -peer blockchain technology relies on decentralized mesh network infrastructure and updates from the outdated HTTP architecture is what we need now more than ever to keep the state out of our data. The future of the internet is ours to seize and we will not seek anyone's permission to be anonymous. And it will be as easy to set up on your device as it is to install a browser. Me and Esoteric Entity are working on FreedomNet, or FNet, with a whole bunch of great and talented programmers, and already the project is looking promising. Keep an eye open, because we're not going to wait for the priesthood of statism to stop trying to censor us. Trust us. We voted as hard as we could, and it didn't work. We are already in the process of innovating censorship out of existence. Join us. Even if you aren't a network engineer, you can still help by getting the word out, and we would love to hear from you. The link to the FNet Discord server is in the description. Questions? Comments? Critique? What is the most insidious thing the religion of statism is doing to invade our lives? What features do you want to be a part of FreedomNet? Support me through Patreon. Like, share, and subscribe to become a heretic today.